We're going to be talking about this book today. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and today we're going to be talking about Cunt by Inga Muschio Muccio. And I'm going to go straight off the bat and say I didn't like this book. I respect the message. I'm a feminist. I get it. But there were a few things that didn't sit well with me. I also just want to give a trigger warning. I will mention rape. I will mention abortions in this video, so if that's going to be intense for anyone, feel free to just tap out now. But yeah, so this book. It's basically about reclaiming this word. I would say it's very feminist. She does talk about privilege, racism, self-pleasure, contraception. To put it briefly for those of you who haven't read this book, I felt like the author is a type of feminist that likes to attack men in a very aggressive manner. I believe in equality for both sides. I don't think there should be this idea of tearing the other down, which Inga really sounds like that kind of person, which is frustrating. And I personally didn't like to read this book because of that. This might be a little bit spoilery, but for example, she talks about contraception. She talks about the pill saying that she wouldn't use it because it was man-made. Now, I, from experience using the pill in the past, I personally don't like it because there are a lot of side effects that don't make you feel good in your body. For example, it can give you mental health issues, can make you feel very depressed, you gain weight, all these little different things. Because it's made by a man as your first reason for not wanting to use contraception, a pill, is really stupid. And this is a spoiler for those of you who haven't read this book. But she talks about how she had three abortions. She also talks about how we as women shouldn't support man-made books and movies. It really just pushes it too far to a point that's completely unnecessary. Where is the love for the art made? I kind of understand where she's coming from in terms of really voicing your opinion in supporting more female works. Which yes, I agree with, obviously. To completely disregard works because they're made by men. Like, if this author, I'm not sure if she has siblings, but if she has a brother and he makes a movie, what, is she just not going to watch it because he's a male? That, that is the dumbest reason I have ever heard. If you want to be reading a feminist book, um, this is quite harsh, but I wouldn't recommend this one. Instead, I would recommend this book. <laughs> this book is called Women Don't Know You Pretty by Florence Given, and this book is amazing. Like, if we had to compare the two, this is god tier. Like, 5 out of 5 stars, like, amazing. Florence Given is everything. You should follow her on Instagram. Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> you should watch my review on this one. I'll leave in the link down below. This is nowhere near that. So I recommend this one. Look, I guess let's just go into the spoilery kind of section. I feel like I've spoiled everyone here already. Here we go in three, two, one. The things that I liked was the way it started. I felt like the introduction was really well done, that it was very intriguing. I also really liked how she talked about full moons, different phases of the moon, women's circles, how she talked about menstruation. I thought those chapters were really beautiful. For example, with menstruation, I thought it was really beautiful how she talked about making it this ceremony. Her story about the first time you bleed, making that special. I think bleeding should be considered sacred so making it this ritual making it this ceremony changing the way you view it is very important because it is a beautiful thing I'm currently menstruating I'm currently on my period yes I have cramps but there is so much beauty to it in regards to the chapters I liked I feel like she could have went into a lot more detail from that she then goes to talk about contraception the way that she had three abortions just the way she talked about them made me feel very scared and confused about her actions in regards to why this keeps happening. Like, three times is a lot. Of course, each to their own, and I'm not trying to, you know, put her down, because that that's her experience, and it happens for different reasons. The way that she disregards contraception. She had an option there of self-pleasure, 
which yes it's beautiful to talk about self-pleasure i fully advocate for it stand for it but is that contraception I, I i wouldn't put it in this list i wouldn't talk about it in this context i talked about this in the intro that the fact she wouldn't use the pill because it was man-made i also found the chapter about rape very hard to read which i think speaks for itself it's a very hard topic to talk about it was so hard to read about a mother nine years old that was hard to read, but I think it was great that she had that in here, especially talking about the trans community, how it happens to them too. She talked about racism, privilege, which I think is very great that she talked about this in here. And throughout the book, there is my issue that still stands of the way she uses this very harsh, very aggressive tone towards men. I understand where she's coming from, but the way she's writing it isn't nice. I personally believe that feminism should be about equality, not about the female being more superior than men. And that is where I feel like her views are. I also didn't like the ending of this book. I felt like we didn't even get an end. There wasn't a nice wrap up. Yes, she gave us songs and books that we could read for ourselves for more research and stuff, which is great. I really liked that. But there wasn't this conclusion that tied it all together. Especially at the beginning of this book, I thought it was going to be about reclaiming this word that at the end, we're going to be like, yeah, but instead, it ended up making me feel like, oh, my views on feminism is so different to yours. You do it in a way that hurts, which hurts. So this was something controversial. Let me find the page. So I found this super controversial on page 174, which was all about her putting down men in a way that they shouldn't stand up for women who have been raped, that they shouldn't be the ones to talk about it, to voice their opinion on it, that they should basically just shut up be in the background and support us in that sense. I had a friend that I was talking to last month who opened up to me about how his group of male friends sat down someone they knew who raped their girlfriend or someone they were dating. They raped them. They sat him down and fully went off at him, told him off, made him see the light of this fucking huge mistake he has made that is going to impact his entire life and that girl's life. To look at that as an example, that is powerful. The way they stood up for her, the way they talked directly to this person who needed to hear it, that is strong and powerful. To hear Inga say, we don't need men to protect us. If men really and truly want to be good, they can stand in the background and quietly support their women friends and relatives while we stand up for ourselves. That is the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. So, um... I don't really think there should be anything else that needs to be said. I think that my views on this book are pretty clear. So yeah, that was my review on this book. Um, yeah. I personally didn't like it, each to their own opinion. But I really would love to hear what you thought about this book. And hopefully I will see you very soon with a lot of book reviews to come. So stay tuned. As usual. Bye!